Welcome to a new series called Behind the Scenes with Cypress Living President and CEO Troy Churchill. In this video series, Troy will take us places we typically wouldn't be able to go. For example, today we're going to visit the Captain's Table, which is nearing completion of some major renovation. Let's take a look behind the scenes. Here we are at the Captain's Cove, and I, I already I know what my favorite part of the trip is. I got this nifty hat. <laughs> but if you could put John the radio guy on there, that'd be nice. That's what you want, John the radio guy? Yeah. I think we can do that. So. Oh, wait, no, John the video guy. The video guy, there, that's, yeah. that's even John better. the video guy. <laughs> All right, so let, let's, uh, today you're going to show us through the... Uh, the captain's table? Yep, captain's table. We're going to take a quick walk through, um, get some updates on where we are with things, a little behind the scenes tour, yeah. and uh, excited to bring you along. Troy, who, who picks the names for these restaurants? Like this used to be, uh, what, Captain's Cove, now it's Captain's Table. Who does that? So Captain's Cove had been in place for many years, and we thought it, as we go through this, this refresh of the space, it was also a good opportunity to, to rename it. And still sticking with the Captain's, um, but going more table, um, just to uh, play off the nautical theme that we have down here, mm -hmm. and um, obviously the seafood fair that it's known for. Now, what, what about the dolphin uh, room? That's gonna get a new name too. Yeah, so we're moving forward and kind of with, it's a playoff of the Estero room and then the Sanibel and Captiva dining areas. Um, so that one will be called Coast and then it'll be restaurant, lounge, and maybe even an express area as well. I heard about that. Would that, and then we're gonna have a, a restaurant facility over at the Oaks when that's done. Mm -hmm. So this other uh, one that, that's kind of like a tapas bar is the rumor I heard that's going to be at the coast. At coast, yes. Yeah. So the the lounge um, will have uh, it'll be a little bit more um, more appetizers, more tapas, um, mm -hmm. a little bit more of a, a sports bar kind of feel, um, a little bit of a pub um, with some some TVs available for to watch your favorite game. For me, it's the Tampa Bay Buccaneers or Penn State. I like watching Penn State there too. So. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's going to be a little bit more casual than the actual main mm -hmm. restaurant there. That's Coast. great. And I want to know more about that in the hours, but hey, we're at the captain's table now. Yeah, so yeah. let's go see that. Sounds good. All right. Sounds good. As we begin, I thought we'd introduce Matt Carlin. Matt Carlin is a project manager for Christel Construction and has been overseeing not only this project, but also Edison Hall and the medical clinic transformation as well. Yeah. Thank you, Troy. Matt, how long have you been in construction? I've been in construction since 2008. Okay. Okay. And Matt used to help us a lot with, uh, they call them BMI models, right? BIM. BIM models, that's right. That's yes. Right. And he told me that he enjoys uh, working on this project a lot more than the one he just did before he came here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is the case. I was uh, working on a jail before coming to Cypress Cove. So this is a godsend of a project. Although sometimes when we're leaving campus, we do refer to it as escaping campus. <laughs> Well, this is, I, I promise you, this is much more hospitable than an actual jail. Well, Matt, uh, uh, give us a walkthrough uh, and show us what's going on. And, and what, apparently there's a, 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 it's a complicated project because the construction's been going on quite some time and it, it doesn't seem to be a simple remodel. It looks like you're doing some serious structural changes here. Yes, sir. The, we have quite a bit of work that has taken place over the last six months. Um, what you see behind me here, the scaffolding that's been erected, this is to do one of a multitude of things, but primarily to finish covering the wood framing that we have on the trim work up high in the clear story. We are going to be wrapping the columns and porcelain tile that you see here. What we're finishing up right now in the bar area should be tiled by the time you see two weeks from now, and we should have all of the countertops finished being installed as you see some of the tile work here in the kitchen as well that that will be finished up with by the end of the week with countertops and finishes and paint um, the guys in the kitchen right here on the walls are working on the accent tile wall in the in in the side of the kitchen area and what you're filming right now is where our cook line is going to sit later on this week so this will be where all the food is prepared from and this is what's called the expo window right here this is where you'll see all of the food being prepared while you're sitting and waiting on your food oh that'll be neat we are very close to finishing right now. We're in the final few weeks. As you see, it's a, it is a dirty job, <laughs> but we will have this all cleaned up and prepared very soon for your guests. Now, have we gained any square footage from what it was originally? What it was originally to now is the same square footage. It's just going to be laid out a little bit different. 
Do we, we, we did pick up some additional seating. I was just going to yeah, ask. So do we now know we're up to 135 is? seating All right. um, or spots for for our residents to sit. And part of that was not only you know we could have just done the seating, but one of the challenges we had down here is we had a small area to cook from. And so a lot of the food that they had to prepare was coming from the main kitchen down here. Mm -hmm. So in, in our design, we wanted to be able to offer a broader menu and more options for our residents. So that's why you see this kitchen that's being put in place. Okay. It would have been a little bit easier just to probably go out and build a, build a restaurant from scratch, but now we're having to retrofit everything. So that's where some of the challenges and, and getting everything to where it is. So what was the cooking area is now the bar okay. area. Yep. Um, we will have a display here with different desserts, um, but this will mainly be, it's a two-sided bar. Before it was just the one side. Okay. Um, we'll have TVs on the back side there. And then this is the main, like you said, the kitchen area where a lot of the prep work will be done. Have a brand new, beautiful wood stone pizza oven that's gone in as well. So I take it there will probably be seating around the, all the way around the bar then? Yes, yes, yes. We will have seating all the way around the bar. We actually have the new countertop is in. So you can see that that's been installed. We're just protecting it from, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, all the additional work and painting and staining that's going on right now. We'll have two nice TVs that go up there where that scaffolding is. So part of the challenges that we had here too, is this restaurant took on probably a majority, one of the um, areas that took on the, the most water probably throughout the campus, just being so close mm -hmm. here and kind of built out over the water. The water came in and so we had quite a bit of work just to do from the demolition um, component of it as well. Oh, uh, it's, it's always been a gorgeous view out here. Yeah. So there will be outdoor seating as well. Yep, we have outdoor seating. We've always had outdoor seating, but the challenge once again was we didn't have a big enough kitchen to be able to offer food. Mm -hmm. So now we'll actually have outdoor seating on both sides. Um, some great umbrellas. So on days like today, when it's very comfortable outside, you can enjoy it. So. What's See going the, on over here? Are we staining? Yeah, so this is the new wood that we wrapped the existing wood with, and we actually had to take down the, the prior wood and rebuild it. That's what's taken a little bit of time, but yeah, they're staining it now with the new color so that it will tie into the overall design and, and theme of the restaurant. One change here, um, we did move the host stand up. So you'll be able to see that now when you come in, the host stand is, is here. It used to be kind of tucked in that corner. Mm -hmm, right there. Mm -hmm. Now, out in the hallway, I see a lot of booths or booth seating. Is, is that an increase in that type of seating? Yeah, so actually along this wall here is where we'll have some of those built-ins that'll go in. And those have been delivered. We're just getting everything, everything stained and painted. Um, all the flooring is down, and so that's really, once we get this, the ceiling grid in, the stain finished up, and the rest of the painting, then we'll be able to start um, in installing those booths that'll go here. Yeah, we, we set them out in the hallway just to protect them for right now from all the construction debris. Okay. And this, this here is a really cool, it's, it's an opportunity for us to pay homage to our yacht club. Yeah. And so this is where the trophies, the pictures, we have some old flags, some boats, all of that can go in here. Oh, wow. We have beautiful new lights that'll provide some additional lighting there. I'm getting excited now because <laughs> I'm one of the sailors. That's right. We did keep all of the oars that we had prior. Yes. And those will be, we've repainted them, but those will be lined up down this hallway here. Mm -hmm. So it'll be a beautiful entrance as you come in off the main area. We also have doors now that are glass so you can see through when you're coming down the hall and be able to see the beautiful fountain and, and the beautiful ambiance of the restaurant. What will the hours be here? Ooh, John, that's a tough one. I don't know fully yet. So okay. that'll be a question we'll have for Laurent. I do know right now we're planning to have the Crystal Construction team turn over the space to us on the 23rd. And then on the 24th, we have all the delivery of the furnitures coming in and as well as on the 25th, and we'll be installing all that furniture at that time. And then we'll give our culinary team a couple weeks to get everything sorted and do some practice runs so that we can open up for business on November 13th. Okay. Do you think I should come back sometime between like when oh, the yeah. booths are coming in, yeah, do think, a short clip? I think on the 24th and 25th, you can get some good shots of the furniture coming in. Yeah. And we may even have a sample menu to be able to showcase along with the hours and, and, and what that looks like. Okay. Do you want to be here for that one? Of or? course, of course. Okay. Yeah, we can have, and that one we can um, feature Laurent's as well. All right. So this is part of the, the, the new wall that we see when we're going outside is the what? It's the new walk-in refrigerator and freezer. Mm -hmm. In order for us, you know, we had to not only increase 
the cooking capacity, but also the storage capacity down here as well. So this is the exterior side of Captain's Table. You can see the new area, the new storage area um, that housed the dish room as well as the walk-in refrigerator and freezer here. We do have, we've suckled the exterior of it. We will be painting it, putting a cap on there as well. And then this area here, some of it will be tied in with landscaping along with additional golf cart parking. Oh. So individuals can bring their golf carts over here and there'll be more expanded parking here. All right. I believe that this is the best view in the entire campus. I think you could be onto something, Matt. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, this is one of the best features of the, the restaurant is the, the view of the lake and the rest of the Health Park Florida campus. Hope you enjoyed what you saw. We'll do an update in a couple of weeks as they install the furniture and add some finishing touches. I think you'll be pleased. See you next time, Behind the Scenes.